Hey, what's going on, fellas? All right, I got uh, just went out this weekend, or I should say last weekend. I finally got the Lapua brass, and I finally did some uh, ladder tests because I got this competition coming up at the end of the month. Um, using, um, of course, a uh, Lapua brass and using 178 grain Amax. So I decided to do a ladder test at 100 yards. Uh, I need to do one at 300 and see how the groups look like at 300 yards and 100 yards. But at 100 yards is what I could do here in uh, California. So, so well, let's get started. Well, anyways, here's my first group with 40 grains. I got a group at a, was it seven tenths of, of an inch. So you can see that three right there. And then here's some of the statistics off my crony. Right there. So not too bad, still sub, um, still uh, MOA at 100. So not too bad. Here is 40 and a half. You can see the extreme spread 15, seven deviation seven. And just by five tenths of a grain, jumped it up about 60, uh, 67 um, feet per second. And I, and I got a group of uh, half, a M uh, half of an MOA. And you can tell by just under a dime. So pretty, pretty sweet. I uh, loaded uh, about 60 of them. With 40.5, and I consistently got groups under uh, half of a uh, half of an inch at 100 yards. So that's that's a pretty nice uh, group right there. So I'm trying to keep the extreme spread under single digits. Here is 41. Uh, you can see it's starting to spread out a little bit more, and I was shooting far left, so you can see the three uh, hits right at the top so just just over an inch which is kind of weird um, 41 and a half um, about the same and it's just under an inch I mean it's pretty neat how just five tenths of a grain changes your pattern big time so there's that here is 42 grains of it's Varget is the powder, and this was like my worst group right there. I think I just it was probably a flyer, but I'm pretty sure if I would have hit it, it'd probably be probably nine tenths or eight tenths of a inch at 100 yards. I only did three shots. I should have did five, but I uh, wanted to have some fun that day, so I just did three. So, so you see the velocity starting to jump up. The average was uh, 2671. Alright, it's 42. Uh, 42 and a half was probably the best group I got. And you can see the extreme spread and standard deviation is pretty, pretty close, being uh, single digits. So let's, let's see that. There we go. Put this down. So it's 42 and a half of our get. So there, there you go. That one's probably the smallest group I did that day. All right. And here's 43, which is another small group, just a half an inch, just a little over half an inch. I'm starting to touch 2,700 feet per second. And you can see it right here. Nice groups. I could never get this with a Winchester brass because it was pretty much inconsistent. I didn't like shooting on paper because I was getting some groups pretty big. Well, here's a 43 and a half or get. You can see the top. So seven, it's a little over seven tenths. Here's some of the statistics. Even though the extreme spread is low and standard deviation is low, and Seven tenths at a hundred yards is pretty good. 
but like I said, I need to do it at 300 yards. And I did 44, but it didn't come up on the crony, and it's starting to spread out more. So you can see the trend. So, uh, other than that, uh, I start noticing pressure signs about about 30, oh, it was 43 and a half, and you can see it by the brass. I don't know if you can see it, but let me take one out. You start seeing the ejector marks on it. You see it kissing right there. Right there. So, starting to see pressure signs right there. See a little imprint. Uh, 44, I didn't see any. 43, I definitely did see it. And that's pushing about um, 2730 is the average speed, which is pretty fast for 178 grain out of a 308. Um, you tell me what you guys think. Um, you know, I'm new at this stuff, so I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Uh, like I said, I got a competition. I'll probably be using this uh, settings uh, um, for the 600 yard. I just got to decide what should I go with 40 and a half or 42 and a half. So you can see the two. Maybe this is good at. 600 maybe this would be good at thousand yards. I don't know but You saw the statistics and all the reading so hopefully Hopefully get to use one of the two to me. I'm probably gonna end up sticking with this one 42 and a half um, I mean like I said, this is probably the best shooting I ever done and I'm very surprised um so yeah, let me know. Tell me what you guys think, and um, definitely like to see hear some feedback or anything. Other than that, um, I'll have another video on the 208 grain uh, ladder test I did that day as well. So, well, anyways, guys, uh, I'll talk to you guys later.